there. How's it going? Well, as many of you may know, I am a pro-Second Amendment person. I may be on the left. I may be even far left in a few areas, but I'm on the right in a few areas as well, and gun rights is one of those areas. You know, I think we have enough regulations as it is. In fact, I think there's a few regulations we need to loosen up on a little bit. I think people have the right to defend themselves. I think we shouldn't make it too difficult to get guns legally. You know, if you make them hard to get legally, then people who really want guns will just get them illegally. You know? Um, just like if we made it too hard for someone to get a license, uh, driver's license, um, there'd be a lot of people just driving without a license. That's just how it would be. You know, this isn't like, this isn't something like, uh, oh, well, if well, maybe we should just make uh, uh, murder legal. It's just like, no, uh, owning a gun isn't the equivalent of murdering someone. Okay? Just like owning a car isn't the equivalent of murdering someone. You can use a car to murder someone, just as you can use a gun to murder someone. You know? Now, cars obviously have more utility to them than just murdering people, than, than trying to cause harm to something. You know, guns, the, the primary use for it is, you know, I mean, you could, do, you could say target practice, but the primary use is, is to be able to defend yourself. Now, one of the arguments that, there, there are some anti-gun arguments I just laugh at. I'm sorry, I think some of them are absurd. You know, I, I mean, if you're arguing to try to make households with kids safer, fine. You know, talk about having, having laws dealing with how you have to uh, keep a gun if you're in a house with kids. Okay, fine. You know, I, I, can, I can go with that. But if you're going to try to say that uh, gun regulations are going to stop mass shootings, I'm going to laugh at you. Yes, it's absurd. It's absolutely absurd. Look at so many of these mass shootings that have happened. People have gotten the guns illegally as it is. Do you think if you make them harder to get legally, the ones getting them illegally will just suddenly stop getting them? That's just stupid. You know, when it comes to mass shootings, there's a number of things that need to be talked about and dealt with to reduce, I, mean, I guess I shouldn't just say talked about, there's, there's a number of things that need to be done to stop people from getting to a point where they feel they need to go on a mass shooting. Okay, there are some people that feel disenfranchised now. Is their feeling of disenfr being disenfranchised, is it valid? Well, I mean, does it matter whether it's valid? These people feel this way. How can we get these people to not feel this way? Now, one thing that I mentioned in my live stream is that, you know, there's... When bigoted, xenophobic, racist, sexist, home, you know... Uh, homophobic people uh, aren't able to state their views except in places where they have an echo chamber of people who feel exactly the same way and might actually egg on them being violent. Um, yeah, when, when people can't talk about these things without being censored, um, sometimes they will... Yeah, and there's a ch more of a chance they're going to lash out, and you're going. You're you're blaming mass shootings on censorship, not directly, but it certainly doesn't help. the The main thing we need to do is to stop people from feeling disenfranchised. How can we stop that? How can we stop people from feeling like going to some extreme is the only way out of their mental situation? You know, we need to we need to remove the stigma from mental issues as well. You know, I mean, obviously there are some mental issues that that can very easily lead to violence and yeah, I mean we shouldn't talk positively about them obviously, but 
We need people to be able to talk about their mental issues easier. Talk about their feelings easier. And you can say, oh, well, that's, that's all because of toxic masculinity. You know, it's just like, if you word it that way, they're going to think that the, the people that you're trying to reach are the ones who you're going to push away the most. The people that need to hear about how we should be able to express our feelings, yeah, the people that need to hear that are going to hear the opposite. They're going to hear that, uh, well, not quite the opposite, but they're going to hear this notion that, well, to be masculine is toxic. You know? Yeah, it, it, the way that this stuff has been dealt with it, is not helpful. Um, you know, how is a racist, a blatant racist, ever going to be not racist? if we're not even allowing the conversations to happen in the first place. Same thing with someone who's xenophobic, or homophobic, or sexist. How do we stop them? How do we get them to learn what's wrong with those kinds of viewpoints if we don't allow them to state them in the first place? If everything is just, you're a bad person because you think this way, how is how are they ever going to get out of it? Or do you just kind of want to do the punishment thing? Oh, we should just punish them for those beliefs. Let's make their life a living hell if they have those beliefs. Is that going to help? Is that going to help them not break at some point and do something awful in the, in the process? Is that going to stop that? No. Now, going back to the guns argument... Okay. The reason why, one of the big reasons why I think it's so absurd to use gun control and gun regulations as a method of stopping these mass shootings, I mean, even if you banned all guns, there are more guns in circulation, there are more firearms in circulation, far more firearms in circulation than there are people. So if we made all guns illegal tomorrow, you know, do, you, do you think everyone, all the gun owners are just going to go, oh, I think I'll get rid of my guns. They're illegal now, so I'll just get rid of them. No, that's not going to happen. The only way that you could, that sort of plan would even have a chance of doing anything is if you had the government search everyone's houses. And in that sort of situation, I mean, you'd probably have to enact martial law. Martial law, search everyone's houses, and, you know, you still wouldn't get to the people who have very cleverly hidden their guns somewhere. You know, those people would still have their guns. You know? Um, and there'd be a lot of people like that. If, if they thought that their guns were going to be taken from them, yeah, there's going to be a lot of people finding new and uh, inventive ways of hiding them. You know, so I just, yeah, the, the, the stopping mass shootings through gun regulations is just a stupid argument. It's laughable. Now, if you think that my, my talk about dealing with mass shootings, uh, with uh, dealing with mental issues and dealing with censorship and dealing with making people not feel disenfranchised, if you think that's a stupid argument, tell me about it in the comments. Tell me why my uh, w what I think should be focused on is the wrong thing. Go ahead and explain it to me. Now, if you just want to come in the comments to uh, tell me how a gun regulations really will stop it, look, it's worked in some other countries, I'll be like, yeah, but... They're, those countries aren't the United States. They don't have the gun culture we have. They don't. Other countries didn't have so many guns in circulation either. You know, you just, you're, you're, the arguments are stupid. I, I will laugh at a number of types of arguments if you bring them to me. I will laugh. And you can tell me that, oh, I'm not, I'm not listening in good faith. Yeah, I, 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 I'm listening to you, but I'm still laughing at you. I'm still going to laugh at you. 
you know? I just... I guess I don't really know what more to say, but... I, I grow tired of these... I, I think these arguments are stupid. You know, oh, let's ban guns to stop uh, uh, mass shootings. No, it's, it's dumb. It's not going to work. It's just going to... It's just going to make things harder for people who want to get guns legally. You know, to those of you, to those of you who, who argue to make guns just really, really hard to get legally. Have you ever tried to get a gun just, just as it stands? Just with the laws we already have. Have you ever tried to get a gun? Have you tried to purchase a gun? Do you know how long it takes? Do you know how many things you have to go through to get one? Have you done this yourself? If not, I mean, why are you making these arguments if you don't even really know what someone has to go through to get them? Guess I don't know more to say, so thanks for watching.